Hello, it's great to see you again as always. Today we're going to have some fun designing a t-shirt. So try following along with me using my design as an example. Start by designing your dog first. Head over to Pixel Persona. Choose the brush, and in the context toolbar at the top, select Symmetry, Lock, and Mirror. Then just start drawing in a somewhat graphic style. Once you're happy with it, switch back to Designer Persona and create a half-body rectangle. Then, go to the Symbol panel, create a symbol, click and drag the symbol you made so it snaps to the center, flip horizontal it. Choose one side of the rectangle, click the Insert inside the selection icon at the top, and start drawing along with my design. I'm going to use the pencil tool and adjust the pressure according to the style in the stroke panel. In that panel, you can even save your stroke profile style for later. Actually, you don't even have to create a symbol. You could just draw half a face and that works fine too. But we're doing it this way so you can see the overall image to check if everything looks right or if the proportions need tweaking. Alright, now that it's looking good, go back to the symbol panel and click Detach Symbol. Then select all the stroke lines in the group from the layer panel, head to the layer menu, click Expand Stroke. Select all the shapes, and use the Shape Builder tool to delete any areas you don't need. After that, click Boolean Add to merge everything into one piece. For the left stroke, we don't need it, so go ahead and delete it. Now you'll see there are two layers, one for the stroke and one for the rectangle. Select both, use Boolean Intersect, and now you have your half-face stroke layer. Duplicate it, flip it horizontally, and merge them using boolean add. Next, use the vector flood fill tool to add color. Every step in this process has been covered in my previous video that I've shared several times. So if you don't watch my channel often, you can still check out those steps there. Finally, add shadows or highlights as you like, insert text, and arrange everything nicely. I'm not very skilled or knowledgeable about this type of t-shirt printing. As a designer and illustrator, I just create the design for others to use. With a bit more research, you'll probably understand and be able to do it. These days, everything has become so much easier with all the AI tools available. Like I've said before, we can't deny it, we just have to live with it and make the most of it. It's not like I agree with everything about AI. I'm just saying it's constantly improving. It all comes down to your own creativity. We still have the drive to create original work ourselves.
I'll keep finding ways to make videos that meet your needs, so stay tuned. Tell me what you'd like to know about Affinity Designer. There are still a few things you need to know to work more effectively. Beginners can follow along too. The video might be fast at some points and may not cover every detail, but give it a try. It might help you. And that's it, it's finished. Today we've done a simple design. I kept it uncomplicated so you can really put it to use. Remember, a design's quality doesn't depend on the tools or software you use, but on how interesting your design is and how well it appeals to potential buyers. Sometimes a short message and a simple image can sell really well too. For this video, that's all I have. I encourage you to try it out following along with me, even though some steps might be necessary and some might not, you'll be able to adapt it to your own style once you give it a try. See you next time, and thank you for watching.